Hello, my name is Rick Davenport. Thank you all for being here this afternoon. I'm about to graduate with a degree in public relations. It's been a really long, trying, and interesting journey to get to this point. I'm just like so thankful to even be in a position to be able to do this. Um, so today, I'm gonna to be talking about how I think that the education I've received through my professors here at Biola in the PR department and the worldview I've developed for myself through that education and my faith have prepared me to build relationships with integrity, not only in the profession of PR, but in life in general. And, the, and how I think the skills I've learned help me, lead, help me lead others to Christ. To illustrate this, I will be hitting on four key points but first, I'd like to give you guys a little bit of background about myself and how I found my way into the Biola's PR department. To start with, I was born in Busan, South Korea, but I grew up in Indianapolis, Indiana. And originally, I wanted to come to Biola to study music. And that, and also for the weather, because growing up in Indiana, it's really cold, and it's either cold or raining all the time, so, you know, it's nice out here. But yeah, as I... And then coming out of high school, like being the high school senior that I was, that we all probably were, I thought that I had my entire life planned out ahead of me, and everything I was going to do was going to follow that path that I thought I set for myself. So I came to, I got to Biola, started taking music classes, and about a week into it, I was just started thinking, wow, this really isn't where I'm supposed to be. These classes are really sucking the joy out of something that's a really big passion of mine. I wanted to be active playing music, not, not studying theory or like learning about composers that had died hundreds of years ago. That just wasn't for me. And it was at this time that I could really tell that God was pulling on me to change my major, but I didn't really know what it was at the time. So also during this time, I changed majors several times, the first being kinesiology, but all the science didn't really sit well with me. So I changed that and moved to business and in business, it was the math that didn't really work with me. But it was also at this time it, of fluctuation. My grades began to suffer a lot due to that and some, some things going on in my personal life. And it was also at this time I could kind of tell that Biola was a little bit hesitant about giving me another chance to come back because I had been on academic probation for three straight semesters. And also with my parents uh, financially, it was going to be a strain, and they were wondering if they should even fund me, like help me come back here for another semester. So I started searching for a, a major that I thought was interesting, I thought I could handle, and I came into PR. And originally the reason I chose PR was because um, the business classes I had taken would count towards graduation. And if I would have known at that time that there's this amount of communication involved in PR, at that time, I probably wouldn't have chosen it as my major, because for the longest amount of time, something I've viewed as one of my biggest weaknesses is being able to communicate effectively and powerfully in like for informal situations or in classroom situations or even in one-on-one -on -one situations. So yeah, if I wouldn't have known that at the time, I probably would not have chosen PR. But however, through the classes that I have taken and the encouragement I've received from my professors and from my friends, I feel like I'm slowly starting to turn something I view as a weakness in myself into something a somewhat of a strength and something I feel a lot more confident in doing than I would have done a few years ago. And also during my time here, I've learned the value of creating relationships with integrity, not only in my classes in PR, but also in life and how I can use relationships I have built using the principles I have learned in class and through my faith. And also the worldview I've developed during my time in college ties directly into what I believe PR is. And now at this time, I would like to give my definition of what I think a worldview is. And to me, that is, a worldview is the lens in which you view your life and how you respond and react to events in life using your ethics and beliefs. And I think lots of times people compartmentalize different aspects of their lives and apply differing standards to each of those compartments. So I think that this dividing up of areas such as religion, social life and work create incons like inconsistencies or imbalances. And I think the experience that I have acquired while studying here will enable me to share my abilities with organizations and provide the opportunity to serve others using that experience. To truly practice public relations, the foundation of every re relationship you build should be built upon trust and honesty. 
three standards that I have found to be required to build these types of relationships that may seem unconventional, but they have worked for me, are unconditional love, respect, and servant leadership. And also my internships with the Calmetto Management Group in Greenville, South Carolina, taught me that a career in NPR provides an opportunity to build strong relationships with a foundation of integrity. And now I'd like to move on to my first key point, and that is I believe that as a Christian, the foundation of a biblical worldview built on principles found in scripture will enable me to form strong relationships in my career. R.C. Sproul explains that God introduced himself to us in an extremely personal way. This principle is necessary as I seek to share the love of Christ with those I work with. The basis for the code of ethics I have developed for myself is found in Acts 17.28. It says, in him we live and move and have our being. Living each day with this thought as a central focus enables me to embrace a biblical worldview that is beyond my own life and work. A worldview determines how you perceive life and how you conduct your life based upon those ethics and values. Philip Ryken explains a Christian worldview like this. Having the right worldview makes all the difference in the world and all the difference for eternity. It helps us understand the purpose for which God has created the world and everything in it. It gives us true perspective on the daily difficulty and distress of life in a fallen world. It is a calling that extends even beyond my career to serve the needs of others. The basis of PR involves building meaningful, lasting, and truthful relationships. Building those relationships upon a biblical worldview enables me to share the love of Christ with those I work with on a daily basis. Now for my second key point, I believe that there are three major elements that I have found in building relationships, not only in the field of PR, but in many other areas as well. And these three things are unconditional love, respect, and being a willing servant leader. I think these traits are major keys to helping to influence lives for Christ. D.L. Moody explains this principle. God has left us here to shine. We are not here to buy or sell or to gain or to accumulate worldly possessions. God sent us into this world to shine for him and light up this dark place. Building meaningful, lasting, and truthful relationships requires unconditional love. Scripture teaches this concept most basically, I believe, in Genesis 1.27. And if we are all created in the image of God, that means we are all equals. Another verse that I think explains this love is 1 John 4.7. Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Francis Schaeffer also explains this concept. By making man in his own image, the triune God who communicates and who loves prior to the creation of all else has created something that reflects his personality, his communication, and his love. Respecting others is a theme found continuously throughout scripture. Luke 6.31 states, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. This attitude requires humility. Philippians 2, 3 through 4 also states, Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather in humility, value yourselves, value others, sorry, value others above yourselves, looking not to your own interests, but to e but each of you to the interests of others. Loving others out of respect and humility will help, well, I believe will help towards creating meaningful relationships. This also ties into the third trait, which is servant leadership. Leadership in PR should include elements of leadership built upon service. Christ gives us the ultimate example of what being a servant leader is all throughout the Gospels. But one example that I found comes from Matthew 20, 26 through 27. Whoever wants to be great among you must be your servant. Whoever wants to be first must be your slave. Just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and give his life as a ransom for many. To me, servant leadership means that I must strive to serve others as a means of love rather than for my own gain. That can be really hard to do in today's culture. It's definitely centered around ourselves and how I can advance my own life over others. I believe that in order to, but I believe that in order to be an effective leader, you must first address the needs of those around you and inspire them to be the most effective that they, that effective that they can be. Lead out of love, not out of intimidation or fear. Moving on to my third point, I would like to talk about some of the importance I've found in building relationships through trust and honest communication. This became an important issue for me during my internship with uh, the uh, Calmetto Management Group. During my time with this company, I began to gain real life experience with the concepts about relationship building I've been learning in my classes. 
I learned firsthand how this type of reputation and strong relationship are ne relationships are necessary to have a solid career in, the, in public relations through the work I did for Calmetto and th through the history of the company itself. During the internship, my primary area of concentration included public relations work for, for a client of Calmetto, the Self-Insurance Institute of America, or SIIA. SIIA. <laughs> SIIA helps employers provide and determine, determine how to fund health risks. Some of the work I did for this company included creating various social media pages, working on several websites, and even writing an article for their magazine. And all those work examples can be found on my ePortfolio. Uh, many of the people I interacted with while at this internship on location or through phone calls or interviews I had to conduct, uh, they taught me a lot of things about me, uh, being a young professional and those are things I will always value. Each one of these people told me how important a reputation based upon honesty, integrity, and respect is in the professional world. Many of these men and women credit their long-term success to those traits. Coincidentally, the founder of the SIIA was my grandfather, and so it was really awesome to be given tasks by Calmetto to work for a company that someone in my own family had founded. And this relationship still continues between the SIIA and my father and his business. And at this time, I'd like to give the definition by the PRSSA of what they think public relations is, and that is public relations is a strategic communications process that builds mutually beneficial relationships between organizations and their publics. And I saw a very real life version of this model doing work for Calmetto, who does PR work for SIIA, and I've seen it in the relationship my father's business still has with the SIIA. Those relationships built with trust and integrity have carried on from one generation to the next. It was really powerful to experience and see that in action. As I began my career in PR, I've been blessed with two extremely effective models to build my career around. I will strive to emulate what I've seen from these companies as I move forward. For my last point, I'd like to emphasize that in the field of PR, I believe that building, I believe building strong relationships can be accomplished by living the example Christ has set before us. Leadership within the industry requires communication based upon honesty and integrity. Some people within the industry use unethical practices to misinform others or spin stories. It is imperative to combat this image by building strong relationships based upon two-way communication grounded in, grounded in ethical principles. As a Christian, I believe that this example can also open doors up to share my love of Christ with others. In an example I found from Stan Toller, he says that leaders must read moral roadmaps. They must look for landmarks that keep them on the ethical high road. This is an imperative for all leaders because they establish the moral climate of their organizations. In PR, it is necessary to lead and communicate with integrity. I believe that the worldview I have developed during my time here at Biola will allow me to give my time and talent as a PR professional to spread the love of Christ to others. Erwin Lutzer expresses it like this. The goal you choose will determine how straight a line your life leaves behind. Many a man has left a crooked furrow because he chooses a temporal target. My goal and my mission is the one that Christ has set before us, and I will continue and I will strive to live that in all aspects of my life, including in my workplace. That's all I prepared for you this afternoon. Uh, thank you all so much for taking the time to listen to my presentation. Once again, it's just an honor even being in this position to do this because I never thought I'd be able to speak in front of you all like this, and if there's any questions, I'll be happy to answer them at this time.